Hi everyone. This is an update to the NewsBud special report by Sibel Edmonds, Uncovering the Untouchables. In Ms. Edmonds' report, she shares her story, beginning with working for the FBI shortly after 9-11, a story that ultimately led to her whistleblowing and persecution by the government when she uncovers and attempts to expose criminality, corruption, espionage, and the cover-up of that information. Ms. Edmonds originally exposed this information in a deposition under oath in 2009, but withheld the identity of a key congresswoman. Sabelle explains the reasoning for this in her report. The NewsBud special report focuses in on an active sitting member of Congress, Jan Schakowsky, a representative from Illinois, as well as her convicted felon husband, Robert Creamer, and their illegal activity. What Ms. Edmonds documents in her report, in my opinion, equates to treasonous criminal actions carried out by government officials and other entities. Since NewsBud published this report earlier today on February 17, 2017, we contacted the representative's office in Chicago to make sure that we could send them a copy of this report and seek official comment. The Chicago office referred us to the Washington, D.C. office, and they put me in touch with a Mr. Ortiz, who is the communications director for the Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, which is the equivalent of the press coordinator. I sent Mr. Ortiz an email clearly stating our intentions of seeking an official comment from the representative or her office with a deadline of today, February 17, 2017, 5 p.m. Eastern. In the email, I provided the link to Ms. Edmonds' special report where Sabelle makes it clear that her previous offer to the Congresswoman is still on the table. I'm going to repeat what I issued in 2009. And that is, if you're listening to me, you charlatan woman who is occupying currently a congressional office, my statement, my pledge, my offer still stands. I, Sibel Edmonds, am willing to stand on the floor of Congress, open hearing, open to the public, none of your closed hearing stuff, on their oath, and I will release every detail about your criminal activities and your husband's Bob Creamer. I would name the file. In fact, I know people who can release documents, okay? I would name the dates. I would name the offices. I would put them all out under oath. And I'd be damned or jail if I'm lying. And you do the same. Come under oath and deny it in front of those people in, in that building whose office, its office you have been abusing. And same thing goes for my polygraph offer. I'm willing to take it by an independent polygraph. I know it's not a 100% exact science, but I'm willing to take it. Will you be taking this? After sending the report to the Congresswoman's communications director, I gave him a call. Now let's take a look at what Representative Jan Schakowsky's communications director had to say. Hello? Hi, is this Mr. Ortiz? Hi, hi, my name is Spiro. I'm with NewsBud. Uh, just want to let you know I'm uh, recording this for uh, my documentation purposes here. Uh, but our organization, news organization, published a special report uh, on Representative Jan Schakowsky this morning. And uh, I emailed you the link. That way uh, you guys have it. Thanks, Spiro. And I'm actually, I'm sorry. I, I called me to pick it up. I'll take a look at your email if you already sent it my way. Um, I just stepped out of the meeting. But Thanks again for your email. I'll check it out. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll be on top of it. I, I really just can't get to it right now. But if you send me an email, you have my contact information. It'll be in touch. Yes, sir, I do. And uh, we were just seeking uh, comment by the end of the day to... Oh, he hung up on me. Okay. Well, I guess you don't have to be a man of many words to be a communications director for a member of Congress. Mr. Ortiz, I am still waiting for your response, in addition to an official response, 
from Congresswoman Schakowsky to Ms. Edmonds' report and her offer within. As Sibel Edmonds states in her report, we cannot rely upon the mainstream media to hold these officials and criminals accountable. We certainly cannot rely on the officials and criminals to hold themselves accountable. That is why we are putting a call out to the alternative media to help make this story go viral. Let's show the establishment in the deep state that we can and we will bring attention to this and other criminal actions. What it really comes down to is you, the individual. That is what they do not want you to know, that you have the power to hold these criminals accountable. Our numbers is our strength, and together we are unstoppable. Now, seeing how the deadline has come and gone, NewsBud is going to proceed to the next phase and initiate an action alert campaign. We are encouraging all of you, each and every one of you, who has had enough of criminals within the government being above the law. For everyone who is sick and tired of the mainstream media protecting these criminals. We have to start somewhere, so let's start right here, right now. We are launching this campaign, hashtag expose Jan and hashtag expose Creamer. Call, email, message on social media and demand that Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky accept Sabel Edmonds' offer and testify under oath and submit to a polygraph test. We know that we're going into a holiday weekend right now, but we cannot afford for justice to take a holiday. Now stay tuned for more updates. Follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Reporting for NewsBud, I'm Spiro. For just a small subscription fee, you can become a member of the NewsBud community and help keep this website running. Your subscription will provide you with full community access to exclusive content, including videos and articles from NewsBud's team of experts and analysts, as well as a members-only monthly newsletter from NewsBud's founder, Sibel Edmonds. Sign up today for full access at NewsBud.com.